Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. This is the day of turkey, green bean casserole, stuffing, potatoes, well, a lot of food. And football, even though the matchups are less than stellar sometimes. And of course, we can't forget about the Thanksgiving Day Parade and the National Dog Show. So if you don't like the 200-pound dudes knocking the out of each other, you can enjoy a bunch of cute pooches. But the real purpose of Thanksgiving is to be thankful for what we have. But are we the only country that celebrates Thanksgiving or a holiday that has the same meaning? Actually, no. Here are some countries that also take time to give thanks. Canadian Thanksgiving is celebrated on the second Monday in October. Of course, the Canadians just call it Thanksgiving. In the U.S., we call it Canadian Thanksgiving. Not sure what they call it elsewhere. The holiday is a statutory holiday in most of Canada and is an optional holiday on Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. Companies that are regulated by the Canadian government observe the holiday everywhere. This holiday goes back to 1578 when British explorer Sir Martin Frobisher returned from his search for the Northwest Passage. He and his crew organized a feast to give thanks for returning safely. Other sources trace Canadian Thanksgiving to the 17th century when French settlers came to North America with Samuel de Champlain in 1604 and celebrated with a feast. They formed the Order of Good Cheer and held feasts with their First Nations neighbors where the food was shared. Originally, the theme of Thanksgiving holiday gave thanks for an abundant harvest, but has sometimes changed to celebrate an important anniversary. And is there food? Why, of course there is. Turkey, ham, or chicken, mashed potatoes, stuffing, cranberry sauce, corn, and pumpkin pie. There are also traditional dishes served which may include jigs dinner, Nanamo bars, and butter tarts. And if you are an American that is in Canada during this holiday and think you'll miss that important football game, fear not. The Canadian Football League holds a televised doubleheader called the Thanksgiving Day Classic. And they might just be a better matchup than the games that are scheduled in the States. In Germany, Thanksgiving is a harvest celebration called Erntedankfest and takes place in early October. There is no specific date or nationwide observance for this celebration as in the United States and Canada. Since 1972, the German Catholic Church recommended the first Sunday in October, but this isn't followed everywhere in Germany and is not even on the church calendar. This is mostly a religious event, celebrating autumn harvests. This celebration has religious processions, musical performances, dancing, fireworks, and of course we can't leave out the food. And even though American football is popular in Germany, and they have given us Raiders fullback Jakob Johnson and retired Patriots offensive tackle Sebastian Vollmer, there is no Thanksgiving Day football game. On the 25th of October, Grenadians have Thanksgiving to celebrate the reinstallation of their constitutional government after it was taken over in a coup. In 1979, Grenada's democratic government was overthrown and was replaced by a socialist dictatorship led by Maurice Bishop, who declared himself to be prime minister. The Grenadian army, led by General Hudson Austin, placed Bishop under house arrest, and later executed him by firing squad. The country degenerated into chaos, and American medical students at Grenada St. George's School of Medicine were endangered. A coalition of U.S. and Caribbean forces named Operation Urgent Fury invaded Grenada to oust the government on October 25, 1983, installing an interim administration and restoring order. 
The anniversary of the holiday is Thanksgiving Day and is observed with meals shared with family and friends and a day off for the general public. All government offices, educational institutions, and most businesses are closed. Both traditional Grenada and American Thanksgiving food is served. On November 23rd, Japan celebrates what was formerly a rice harvest festival called the Harvest of the Five Cereals. The celebration, now known as Labor Thanksgiving Day, is now regarded as an occasion for commemorating labor and production and reflecting on issues that impact the community, such as the environment and human rights. On this day, school children prepare cards or gifts for people in the labor sector to show appreciation and companies review their accomplishments and congratulate their workers for their dedication. In Liberia, Thanksgiving is celebrated on the first Tuesday in November. In 1883, the legislature of Liberia declared this a national holiday. The holiday is celebrated due to Liberia's founding as a colony of the controversial organization American Colonization Society. The Liberian celebration of the holiday is different from the American celebration. Some Liberian families choose to celebrate with a feast, but there is no specific food associated with Thanksgiving as in the United States. Some celebrate the holiday by attending religious ceremonies, while others take it as a day for relaxation. Not everyone views the holiday in a positive way and view it as an imposition from the American settlers of the country. After the Second Civil War, some Liberians celebrate Thanksgiving as a time to be thankful for this new period of relative stability. In the UK, Thanksgiving as such is not celebrated but there is a harvest festival celebration held in late September or early October. There is no official date for this. During pre-Christian times in Britain, the Saxons would offer food to the fertility gods and then would celebrate after the fall harvest was collected with a meal. After Christianity took hold, many of these traditions never went away. The harvest festival is still celebrated today, even by the churches, and is celebrated with decorating baskets of food. Collections of food are then given to local charities to deliver to the homeless and those in need. Sometime in the 1940s, Brazilian Ambassador Joaquim Nabucco came home from the U.S. enthusiastic about commemorations he saw in St. Patrick's Cathedral on Thanksgiving Day. So he suggested to President Gaspar Dutra to institute the celebration in Brazil as well. It's not an officially recognized holiday, but it is still celebrated by many families of American origin and by evangelical churches, such as the Four Square Gospel Church in Brazil. Those who celebrate gather with family and friends to eat turkey along with pumpkin pie and sweet or mashed potatoes. The foods served are usually similar to those served for the American holiday. Brazilian Thanksgiving begins at the church and ends as a carnival in the streets. Well, it's Brazil, so of course it would. So here are a few countries that take time out to give thanks. It may not be called Thanksgiving and may not have the same traditions surrounding it as the United States, although most have food associated with it, Two of the celebrations developed under controversial circumstances, but all have something in common, giving thanks. I hope you enjoyed this video, and remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss other videos. Have a great Thanksgiving, and I hope your team wins, as well as your pooch of choice.